Momentum was the new concept of last time. The symbol for momentum is what? This song? Come on, you had it. It was in your brain. Now you're balking. What is that? Balk. Lowercase p. Thank you, Anne. Not to be confused with an uppercase p, Mario, which stands for? Or a row, which looks like a curly lowercase p, which is what, Andy? Density. The equation for momentum is what, Mitch? Um, the lowercase p is a vector equals mass times velocity as a vector. Great. Please notice that momentum and velocity are both vectors. What are the dimensions for momentum, David? Um, they are kilograms times meters per second. Kilograms times meters per second. We do not have a special name for it. It's just kilograms times meters per second. Please enjoy the morning announcements. We have Newton's second law. We learned Newton's second law in chapter four. We learned an alternate form of Newton's second law in chapter six. Wait, what was that law? Uh, net force equals to the change in momentum uh, as a vector divided by the With force also as a vector. So we have the force during a collision. Okay. Now, we're going to have something called conservation of momentum. And momentum is conserved during all collisions and explosions. Now, the interesting thing about collisions and explosions is they're actually the same thing. An explosion is a collision backwards. And physics doesn't really care. As long as time is moving backwards, a collision and explosion are the same thing. We have this concept that time needs to move forward, but there's actually nothing in the laws of physics that say that time needs to move forward. But that's a conversation for another day. Conservation of momentum, collisions and explosions. Conservation of momentum looks like this. The sum of the initial momentums equals the sum of the final momentum. Where both momentum and initial and momentum final are vectors. The sum of the initial momentums equals the sum of the final momentums, with both the initial and the final momentums as vectors. And could I borrow you, please? Yeah, sure. Could you stand up right about there? All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand on the skateboard. While I'm standing on the skateboard, I'm going to throw the medicine ball at you. You, yeah, at you. <laughs> then you are going to gently toss it back at me. Do you hear the difference in verb tense here, or verbs? I'm, I'm going to throw it at you. You're going to gently toss it back. Because yeah. I will be standing on the skateboard. All right, okay. We're going to do this several times. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. So I am standing on the skateboard. Here we go. Throw back. You're going to need to move. You're going to need to move. There you go. All right. There. And keep it. All right. Good. Thank you. Thank you much, Andy. So, there I am, standing, <laughs> standing on the skateboard, holding the medicine ball. We have the initial momentum of the system. Class, what is the initial momentum of the medicine ball and Mr. Palmer? Zero. So what's the initial momentum of the system? Yeah. Zero. So notice the entire left-hand side of the equation is equal to zero. When I throw the medicine ball to your right, the medicine ball then has positive velocity and hence positive momentum. Therefore, when you add that positive momentum to my momentum, that momentum needs to add up to zero. So what do we know about my final momentum class? It's negative, it's negative which is why I'm moving to the left. This is a mechanical explosion. Momentum was conserved. And this is how a rocket works. In a rocket, you have a bunch of guys standing at the bottom with medicine balls, and they just keep throwing them out the bottom. <laughs> what you actually have is fuel. 
and that rocket fuel gets sent out the bottom of the rocket at a very high velocity, such that that momentum has, or that fuel has a momentum down, and therefore the rocket is going to have a momentum up, and you have conservation of momentum, which is what causes the rocket to move. 